Well, new information today on the shots fired at an NYPD officer's home this morning. Investigators say the female officer called 911 saying that her husband had her gun. When police got there, he was attempting to shoot her, and that's when they returned fire. I would News reporter Stacy Sager is live in South Ozone Park with the details. Stacy. Well, you know, Liz, she has a job where she puts her life on the line every single day, but this time, this time, the danger was right here at her home, South Ozone Park, where a domestic dispute with her husband erupted in gunfire, and when you hear it, you understand just how terrifying it was. It is a neighborhood known for being in the loud path of JFK Airport. But this morning, here on 133rd Avenue, residents waking up to this. It was screaming and it was horrific. The sound of gunfire after an off-duty cop, a 39-year-old woman who lives here in South Ozone Park, calls 911 at 8.40 a.m. She says her husband is breaking things inside their second-floor apartment and that he has her service revolvers. Police say patrol officers arrived and he began firing. The male involved then shot in the direction of the female and the uniform ESU personnel. Officers returned fire causing the suspect to retreat back inside the window. Things could have taken a turn far worse had it not been for the NYPD hostage negotiation team and a family member of the suspect who suddenly showed up. I was just talking to him, that's my brother. And I was talking to him, telling him it was very dangerous to just come with us, we'll speak to you, and then you can still continue to have the dialogue with your brother because we want to make sure that everyone is safe. In the end, the female off-duty cop was so terrified for her own life, she jumped from this second floor window. Her husband, meanwhile, surrendered with a gunshot wound to his hand, but a massive police response for one of their own, a neighborhood in fear. It sounded like something out of Call of Duty. It really woke me up. But an incident that could have ended far worse. Honestly, it felt really good because, I mean, although there was some, someone that did get shot, no one lost their life. Indeed, both husband and wife taken to separate hospitals. Once again, he had a gunshot wound to his hand. The female off-duty cop, she has 16 years on the job, bravely doing what she thought she had to do to save her own life. But police say it now looks like she broke her leg in the process. We'll have more on the story coming up in another live report at 5 o'clock. For now.